Hi, I'm Michael Wolf. Welcome to my TED Talk. I will be discussing the most common health conditions in the United States of America. I will talk about what causes these conditions, what percent of American has these conditions, and how these conditions can be treated with physical activity and exercise. The number one health condition that Americans have is hypertension. Hypertension is another name for high blood pressure. It can lead to severe conditions like heart disease, stroke, and in many cases, it can be fatal. Hypertension has been known to be caused by extreme stress, smoking, obesity, or it can happen with old age. Men are more likely to experience hypertension than women. 12.5% of Americans have hypertension. Hypertension is known as the silent killer. It has very little symptoms, so it can be hard to diagnose, but it causes death in many cases. Major depression is another serious health condition that is very prevalent in the United States. This condition often goes undiagnosed and untreated. Major depression is a mental condition with symptoms like hopelessness, mood swings, and feelings of despair. Major depression is treatable to a degree. The symptoms can be decreased with medication and therapy. This condition can affect anyone, children, teens, or adults. This condition affects 9% of the American's population. 35% of, of those with major depression are untreated and only 44% of people with major depression are on medication and in therapy. Type 2 diabetes is the fifth most, fifth most common health condition in the United States of America. It affects 5.5% of Americans. 95% of diabetic cases are type 2 diabetes. 90% of the time, type 2 diabetes is often caused by obesity and lack of physical activity. In people with diabetes, blood sugar levels raise higher than normal. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas does not make enough insulin or the body can't use the insulin effectively. Uncontrolled diabetes can lead to the serious complications by damaging blood vessels and organs. It can increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, nerve damage, and eye disease. It can also lo lose of limbs if untreated. Type 2 diabetes can often be managed by good nutrition and exercise, but it's very important for a diabetic to keep track of their blood glucose level. Treatments for type 2 diabetes may include taking insulin or taking other medication. Obesity is a complex disorder involving the exercise excessive amount of body fat. Obesity can increase risk of diseases and health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. An estimated 70.4% of Americans are obese or overweight. 32.2% of adult men are obese and 35.5% of adult women are obese. The balance between calorie intake and energy expenditure determines a person's weight. If a person eats more calories than he or she burns, then the person gains weight. The most common cases of obesity are overeating, frequency of, frequency of eating, and lack of physical activity. An active person burns fewer calories than people with, who, are hot, who are active. There's a strong correlation between physical inactivity and weight gain in both sexes. Now I'll discuss how exercise and physical activity can help in the treatment or in prevention of these specific conditions. For somebody with hypertension or high blood pressure, it is common that a doctor recommend, recommends a more active lifestyle. Although somebody with high blood pressure has to be extremely careful when exercising because the blood pressure can raise to a dangerous level. It is true that exercising will raise your blood pressure for a short period of time. But in the long run, exercise can help with hypertension. It is extremely common for a person suffering from major depression to be told by a doctor to exercise as part of a treatment plan. When you exercise, your, blood, your body releases chemicals called endorphins. These endorphins interact with receptors in your brain that reduce your perception of pain. This can help a depressed person by reducing their pain. Exercise can also reduce stress levels, numb the feelings of anxiety and depression, improve sleep, and boost self-esteem. It's very important for a person with major depression to exercise regularly. 
because people with diabetes can off suffer muscle loss due to the, their sickness, exercise is especially important. Strength and weight training and aerobic exercise, as well as swimming, dancing, and playing tennis, can all be effect effective in helping diabetic people. It can help the patient lose weight and feel better, but can also help with the reproduction of muscle and production of insulin. Obesity is not a lifelong condition. It is easily treated with regular exercise and healthy eating. It's extremely important for a person with obesity to exercise. Obesity can be prevented with exercise. Thank you for tuning in to my TED Talk. I hope you guys learned something.